The Taming of a Hurricane The suggestion that hurricanes can be tamed seems preposterous when you take note of the devastation perpetuated by hurricanes within the Gulf ports and nearby islands of the U.S. Category 5 hurricanes can create winds exceeding 200 miles per hour, snapping palm trees like twigs and destroying buildings as they move inland with flood surges over 18 feet and torrential downpour that cripple cities in massive flooding. Some scientists and environmentalists now claim that hurricanes are getting worse because of the slowly degenerating and irreversible effects of global warming. Recently, Hurricane Katrina, a Category 5 storm, inundated New Orleans inflicting loss of over 700 lives and $82 billion in damage. It is predicted that people will be eventually forced to abandon coastal cities considered too costly to rebuild and too dangerous to occupy. It is imperative that we take a new look at these monstrous cyclones of swirling energy and come up with an ultimate solution. I think there is an alternate approach that has been overlooked. The solution may be found in the application of frequency and wave theory. First, let's examine the nature of hurricanes in terms of spinning wave patterns. Hurricanes are created by areas of low atmospheric pressure producing rotation around the central eye. These highly concentrated atmospheric spirals rotate in a clockwise positive or counterclockwise negative manner. Clockwise hurricanes are spiral patterns that occur in the southern hemisphere and counterclockwise hurricanes occur in the northern hemisphere, that is, north of the equator. The negative hurricane spirals, like Katrina, are the ones that create the worst damage. To grasp the nature of hurricanes, let's examine a few simple facts about spiral patterns. Hurricanes grow in logarithmic spirals, that is, the distances between the turnings increase in geometric progression similar to the development of spiral galaxies. As the arms of the spiral rotate, they draw energy toward its center. Analogous phenomena in nature can be seen in the form of whirlpools, tornadoes, the nautilus seashells, and in phylotaxic patterns of plants. The source of these patterns need to be more deeply explored. The areas of research that have been grossly underestimated is counter-spiral wave dynamics. Details can be explored in Belosov and Zabotinsky non-equilibrium dynamics, generally known as the BZ reaction. The BZ reaction has taught us much about spirals and the creation of interference patterns. The BZ reaction demonstrates that when two separate spirals operate in contradistinction to each other, the most powerful one can alter the other's spiral rotation or frequency pattern. This suggests a possible solution for eliminating the production of negative storm spirals. To get another perspective on waves and concentric spiral patterns, I now turn to an allied but little recognized science of somatics, or the interaction of sound waves in a medium. In 1802, a famous German physicist and musician by the name of Ernst Kladny discovered that vibrations create frequency patterns. Later, in 1967, another researcher by the name of Hans Jenny expanded Kladny's research. He discovered that mandala-like frequency patterns can be created and controlled by altering vibrations from a generating device known as a tonoscope. He experimented with many different surfaces and mediums and as a result of his studies found that he could create or destroy these highly vibrating energy patterns by altering their frequency patterns. I also believe that by altering the frequency of the cyclone, mankind can eliminate negative spiral storms. To test this theory, Spiral waves must be generated in low pressure chambers and altered by interfering frequencies. With the help of people from the atmospheric research laboratories, wave theory, and somatic sciences, 
I feel that it is possible to create large-scale, portable, interactive frequency generators that, be, that can be aimed at negative spiral storms to dissipate their power before they can develop into monster cyclones.